Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and on this video I want to talk about Amsoil's semi-synthetic bar and chain oil. Here's a shot of the bottle. And you might be wondering why do I need a semi-synthetic semi bar and chain oil? Well if you have a chainsaw that you use very much you know that one of the things that you have to put in there on a very frequent basis is bar oil. Uh, or, you know, the oil that lubricates your chain and bar. Uh, you have to add that along with your oil and gas mixture because most chainsaws are a two cycle. Uh, and so every time you stop for fuel, uh, you check that bar oil. And most new chainsaws are equipped with a automatic oiling system. And then you usually have a manual oiling uh, button that you can push to add extra oil. And it seems like every time you have to add fuel, you know, or every other time you're having to add some oil in there as well. Uh, and every once in a while you have to, uh, you know, replace your chain and replace your bar, especially if your bar has a sprocket tip in it. Um, well, a lot of that wear on your chain and bar occurs because the oil that you're putting in your uh, oiling system is an inferior quality oil and it just doesn't do a good job of lubricating and protecting that chain and bar when they're making metal to metal contact because you know that bar and chain are basically sitting there running on each other uh, and as soon as that uh, wear or as soon as that oil uh, wears out every time that chain goes around and gets slung off uh, then it creates a metal to metal condition there between your chain and bar and it also creates a groove back there on your sprocket on your centrifugal clutch that drives the chain off of the engine. So all of those pieces are lubricated uh, with the bar and chain oil. And so if you run a higher quality, especially like a semi-synthetic here from Amsoil, uh, bar and chain oil, uh, first off you'll use less oil because the oil that's going out there is doing a better job and you won't have to use as much of it. And the second thing is it won't sling off as much. Uh, and, that, and that's really what allows you to use less oil. So instead of all that oil slinging off onto the wood or onto the ground, it's actually going to stay on the chain and on the bar and lubricate uh, and clean out the wood particles that are in there like it's supposed to. And, because when that, once that oil slings off and goes down onto the ground or onto the wood, it's not lubricating anymore. Uh, and so that's what some of the benefits of this Amsoil Semi-Synthetic are. Uh, it's got that high tack formula that holds it on to the metal and the anti-wear properties, uh, which is very similar to the uh, wear properties that we put into other oils and, and gear lubes uh, that protect in the case when you have a metal-to-metal -metal, uh, contact. And that's exactly what you have in that chainsaw situation. Um, and it also does a really good job of protecting your chain and bar and the sprocket and tip from rust because, you know, many times that oil, or I mean that wood, uh, is green wood and it's got a lot of sap and moisture in it and so as you cut through it uh, you know, you're exposing your bar and chain and tip and sprocket to uh, the moisture that is in that wood and then you know at the end of the day you make that last cut and a lot of times slip the cover back over there if you even put a cover on it and take that chainsaw and stick it away in the shed somewhere and all of that sap and water that's left on the bar sticks on there and that's what creates that rust and so if you use a bar and chain oil that's got uh, better rust inhibitors in it then the next time you get ready to go use it your chain and bar won't be all rusty uh, and this is approved for all season use uh, so it doesn't matter if it's cold in the winter or hot in the summer or spring or fall uh, you can use the same uh, semi-synthetic bar and chain oil from Amsoil all year round uh, and I've used this oil before. I uh, did a lot of chainsaw use when I was younger and uh, it just seemed like that was something we went through all the time. Uh, and so uh, when I, after I started using Amsoil products I decided to try out this one and it really does live up to that, uh, that claim that you will use less of it and it will do a better job of protecting your chain and bar. Uh, and reduce your overall maintenance expense and repair costs on your chainsaw because you're not having to replace that chain and bar so often, which is one of your biggest expenses when you're using a chainsaw. So again, here's the bottle, uh, Amsoil Bar and Chain Oil. 
uh, semi-synthetic. And so if you'd like to place an order for this or any other AMSOIL product, uh, go to our website, MinutemanPerformance.com. Uh, please check us out on Facebook and like us there at Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, we're obviously also here on YouTube at Synthetic Oil Info. Please subscribe to our channel here. Uh, by subscribing to our channel on YouTube and liking us on Facebook, uh, you can help others uh, find us and help us get seen by your friends and family uh, and other people around the country and around the world. And so that way, just like we're helping you, we can help those other people solve their most challenging and difficult uh, oil filtration and lubrication problems. So if you have one of those uh, oil filtration or lubrication issues or problems that you're looking for answers for, please send them to us at info at minutemanperformance.com. That's our email. Again, that's info at minutemanperformance.com. Or you can uh, send us a message here on YouTube. Just post a message down below. Or you can post a message and send it to us on Facebook. It doesn't matter. It all comes to the same place. Uh, but again, just uh, let us help you solve those oil filtration and lubrication problems. Uh, and that is it for now. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.